going to start this video by saying thank you so much for the support on the last video. I really didn't expect it to get to that much. I mean, what, has it been out for like four days now and it's already one of the most watched videos on my channel and probably the most liked. I'm really impressed for a video that was up for, only been up for about three days. As you can probably see from the title, it's, you can probably tell that it's not going to be a very nice story. So if you're quite squeamish, I don't know, maybe you don't want to watch this, it's not going to be too bad though. But I had this French teacher who taught me for about three years. And uh, about two two years ago, one and a half year, um, years ago, he got allegations against him. He was teaching at my school for about 27 years before he left two years ago because of this. It happened in a very strong Catholic school, which you'd think is quite a shock, but then it kind of fits the stereotype. But first off, I'm just going to give you some background, a bit more background. He taught me for three years, and a lot of people called him Mr. Mackey from South Park uh, just because he looks just like him and uh, people used to write on his door K and stuff like that and taught me for about three years taught me French up until GCSEs where I didn't take French so these allegations were in a Catholic school in Falklands and if you don't know where the Falklands is it's a country off of Argentina I think I know it's close to there it was a part of the British British Empire and I think it still is this all occurred around the late 70s and early 80s. A lot of the accusations, in fact all of the accusations, were brutal beatings and sexual acts with young boys. I'm not sure, I didn't look up the, the school, but I'm not sure if it was an all boys school or not, because the one he taught me at was an all boys school. But so, him and another teacher were both charged at this Catholic school. Uh, certain accusations and between them there were 57 accusations and if you don't know what an accusation is you probably should do but it's when someone claims someone did something so this might not be true but... so I'm just gonna list off some of the accusations now some of them were really horrific so I've only included some of the lighter ones in my opinion and these still aren't that light so one of the accusations was actually dragging a boy to a river and forcing his head under the now that is crazy in my opinion, like, that's really hard to think about. Uh, this guy taught me, and my little brother, uh, in second school, so pretty hard to think about. Another one of the darker accusations was that he supposedly forced other boys to do certain things with one other boy, so by this, the way it was worded in the article I read was that he forced a group of boys to individually do stuff to one other boy so it could have been I don't know it could have been a bullying thing but I don't really want to look too far deep into that bit the last accusation I'm gonna read and you have to remember there's 57 so there's a lot worse than this these are the lighter ones in my opinion one of the last accusations was he supposedly knocked, knocked a lot of students unconscious which is kind of crazy and in that time I'm pretty sure that not child abuse, but uh, there was some sort of physical punishment, but not knocking someone out, so that was a bit crazy. And probably the last thing I'm going to add to this was one thing that shocked me, and this is probably why it affect, like, affected me with other people that went to my school, was the fact that his daughter went to my primary school, and he had one daughter and one son who was about two years older than me. So the daughter and the son were actually adopted which itself is kind of weird when you look it back. And the fact that I went to school with his daughter, it was kind of weird to me hearing about this because just the fact he was always a part of, kind of like a part of my education growing up in primary school, which is elementary, I'm guessing, in America. But he was on, like, the, I'm pretty sure he was on, like, the school board and he organised events outside of school. So it's all crazy to think about. And these are all allegations, and I will finally say, they did, they, I don't think, I think I read it right. They, I don't think any, they denied the accusations, but they were bailed and the case was dropped. But after the case was dropped, four more teachers had allegations put on them from the exact same school at the exact same time period. So, it, it's a weird reason it was dropped. 
I don't know why it was dropped, but I know it was a closed case. But anyway, thank you for watching. And this video, I did go in a lot of depth for, and all I can say is thank you for watching. And if you want to hear more, then leave a like just so I know that this one goes down as good as the first one. But again, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. It was quite fun to make. <laughs>